Hey, what's up guys? Lane from the Monogrip Tells here. And this video is going to be a little different than most of my videos. I'm really excited about this video. As you can probably see in the title, 100 snakes. So I'm going to be picking up 100 snakes. Uh, that includes ball pythons, uh, corn snakes, and golden pythons. Some scaleless head ball pythons. So I'm really, really excited about doing that. But there's one giant problem. I had to go all the way to New York to pick those snakes up. If some of you may or may not know, I don't live in New York no more, so I have to fly to New York, so I'm heading to the airport tonight, um, so it's going to be really cool to show you guys the collection of snakes I'm picking up and how I'm getting them all the way back here, so it's going to be about a 10 hour drive and about a 2 hour flight, so guys, I hope you enjoy this video. guys I just landed uh, my flight was pretty much an hour and a half delayed so about like 120 but I'm in New York hey guys so I'm here uh, to pick up this collection of 100 snakes and you guys are probably thinking Aren't you at your house, at your collection? Uh, what do you mean 100 snakes in a collection? Um, actually, I haven't seen this collection. Well, I've seen it a few times throughout the year, maybe twice. I haven't seen my entire collection in about a year. Uh, long story short, you guys will hear the probably full story sooner than later. Um, I haven't seen this collection. I actually moved. I don't live in New York no more. Uh, my girlfriend actually took care of this collection for a whole entire year. So... Uh, we've been dealing with real life issues and sometimes you put the snakes in the back burner and deal with real life issues And that's what we did, but let me show you a few snakes and we're pretty much packing all these snakes in tub of wave tubs um, individual snake bags and Driving 10 hours today and grabbing a U-Haul. You probably can see in my face and hear my voice that it's been a long journey so far and It didn't even start yet. <laughs> so it's gonna get longer. Um, I just want to go over and show you guys a few snakes that I really haven't seen in a while. So here we have a pastel spot nose. Um, going through a little bit of a rough shed, but that's really um, normal at this time of year with these rack systems. Um, but we get a home soak, we'll give it a nice soak. Um, yeah, so this is a nice female pastel spot nose. I'm pretty much going to pretty much show you guys a few snakes per 
uh, rack. And then I'm actually just gonna get ready, pop them in some tubs, pop them in some sleep bags, and hit the road. I haven't had much sleep at all this entire trip. Uh, hanging out with friends, seeing family, it was a great time. Um, here we have a pastel clown, uh, male. So, really nice. He's a mouse of, uh, but I love this guy, he's really cool. And then into the snake room. Uh, it's a closet, and I thought it was really cool to have a snake room. I call this snake room. Um, but I'm gonna miss this place a lot. Um, you guys know me from day one. This is where the videos have always been shot, always been taking place. Here's a nice clown reduced female. Really cool. And I know I mentioned um, showing uh, about picking up in golden pythons, the corn snakes, and stuff. We do have that in this collection. Here is a coral ghost female corn snake. Nice female. So, you know, we I did have corn snakes before. I went crazy got the other corn snakes. And this is a good, um, this is actually the reason why I haven't made videos. Um, because I haven't had snakes to show. Besides, I had all the snakes that I produced this year. My girlfriend actually packed, packed them up, bagged them up, and busted, bust all the way 10 hours well probably 12 hours to me so i can take care of that and so she can take care of this collection so she brought me all of my offspring that i produced um but besides one clutch and this is a clutch that i haven't showed anyone these are pastel leopards all 100 percent head clown so i finally have some leopard head clown stock so i can possibly make some batmans and gothams so that's really cool. Uh, I did put my pastel clown to my pastel spot nose male, I mean female, and I produced four eggs, no spot noses, so that was a bummer. So, but we have produced some wicked pastel head clowns, male, females. I think I got a, I got a 1.2. Um, don't ask if they're for sale or not. Uh, this is the, the money crown jewel, and I mean money. I mean, it's like hitting the lotto. I just really wanted these in my collection and not getting sold. Oh, but look at that little guy. This might be the female, but woo, really nice, really nice. Um, and here, look at, let's look at this. Look at, look, look at that, look at that back of the tail. Uh, the clown has definitely influenced these um snakes. I produced I produce a lot of leopard stuff this year, and they do not look like this. So the clown has definitely influenced stuff. You probably see some flip waters. And stuff we pretty much flipped them all last night uh, with these tubs and racks are getting um getting ready to come downstairs and get moved out with us and um it was a fun journey guys um i appreciate all the support that you guys gave us when we were in uh this area of life um we're moving on in life and i'm really happy with that um so i'll see you guys when i get back uh, throughout this video the next few clips you can see us traveling um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for everything.
We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Alright guys, so you finally see everything is finally set up. Uh, we have the corn snake set up, full python set up, bow set up, and golden python set up. Everything set up, display set up. So everything is finally set up and displayed and looking good. Everything got watered, everything is labeled. Uh, I'm excited, I'm really happy. I'm more happy to have this collection finally with me in the new house. Um, where I can take care of and not put the stress on my girlfriend to take care of. And Pretty much really excited because now I can finally start pumping up more videos that I've always wanted to do. I hate taking time off of YouTube. I know a lot of you guys enjoy the videos, so I'm happy to be back making videos. I want to try to get at least two videos out a week. Um, we're definitely going for one a week, but we're going to try to do two as well a week. Um, so, this is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, guys, have a good one. Bye.